Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for a Far Cry 5 video. So in today's video, I want to kind of give you guys a brief overview of Far Cry 5 and what all it that game is going to entail when it comes to gameplay mechanics, story, setting, you know, things that you can do in the game, vehicles, weapons, that sort of thing. And I'm going to be breaking these things down over multiple videos, but today's video is going to be more of an overview video, kind of touch on a lot of the main points of the this game for those of you guys that do not know a whole lot about what Far Cry 5 is what it all is going to entail with the story and you know just kind of a generality of what the game is going to be um, it comes out late March I think it's March 28th and this is going to be a game that I'm going to be covering on the channel quite heavily for a while um, just because you know the open world aspect the story mechanics and stuff of this game is going to be really fun and enjoyable to play and it is also a co-op game and I'm all big into co-op games you know I had a very great time playing through Ghost Recon Wildlands campaign being the fact that that game was co-op as well and uh, this is you know just it, just the way this game works being if you're locked in first person and the way the story is going to be driven in the game it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun so without further ado let's get into the overview so Far Cry 5 takes place in an open world Montana which is the first time ever that a Far Cry game has came to the United States. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure on that. You know, a lot of, you had a lot of exotic locations. And then with Far Cry Primal, you know, obviously that's back in, you know, the back in time and stuff. So, you know, this is the first time that it's taking place in like modern times United States. And you play as a sheriff's deputy has just arrived back in Hope County, only to discover that the entire region, it's been taken over by like a doomsday cult. And the Doomsday Cult is actually called the Project at Eden's Gate. And basically what your job is in Far Cry 5 is to help rally the locals into like sort of a resistance and fight back against the cult. So the main villain that's going to be in Far Cry 5 is kind of similar to Far Cry 3 and 4, um, sort of a larger than life character. And uh, Far Cry 5 continues that trend with the main villain being the father, Joseph Seed, which he is the leader of the Eden's Gate Doomsday Cult. And uh, we really don't know a whole lot about him, but, uh, you know, with the past two games, you know, Far Cry 3 and 4 and stuff, of any clue to what this character is going to be, he's going to be probably one of the highlights of the game. He's going to be a total badass, and he's just going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. So, you know, it should be it should be pretty cool to see exactly how the, to the story transpires with this Doomsday Cult, you know, taking over this town in Montana, which is kind of crazy to think about, too, because this is something that, you know, very well could happen in, you know, in our society now with the way everything is with, you know, the, the, the government and the conspiracies and all this other stuff. But anyway, that's a completely separate topic. So gameplay, we, you know, we have we got to see some gameplay at E3. We got to see a few other gameplays and stuff, trailers and stuff. But open world Montana will definitely be a new spin on the open world compared to the last two Far Cry games. Um, but there's still, there's still going to be a bunch of animals and bases and stuff to take over and crazy amounts of vehicles to drive and all that kind of crazy stuff that, you know, is kind of known to be in a Far Cry game. But this time around, you can also fly a plane and get into actual dogfights like over open world Montana, which is going to be kind of crazy to think about being the fact that you're going to be able to get into dogfights and, you know, militarized planes, you know, obviously not like jets or anything like that, but... But uh, that should be pretty interesting. And then also with the new Guns for Hire and Fangs for Hire features, it's going to allow you to uh, recruit both NPCs to your cause and wild beasts like dogs and stuff. So that should be very interesting to see how that's exactly going to work. And uh, that's sort of a page from Far Cry uh, Primal. But it should be really fun to see how that all works. And then also there's going to be muscle cars, ATVs, off-road trucks, semis, and all sorts of other vehicles as a wide assortment of weapons as well. So I already kind of did a video a while back touching base on a few of the weapons that, uh, you know, have been shown so far. We haven't got to see a crazy lot of different weapons, but obviously, you know, some of your staples and stuff um, with the baseball bat and stuff is going to be coming into this game, which is, you know, being a rural town and, you know, and stuff like that, it should be like a staple in that aspect of its own anyway. So... For the first time in any Far Cry game, you will actually be able to fully customize your character. So this means that you can play as a guy, a girl, you can choose your race, and all that stuff. So basically, you can play as yourself. You can play as any character that you want to play as. You're not locked to playing a certain character, which is how it has been in a lot of previous Far Cry games. You know, there's a set character that you play as. It ties into the story and everything like that. So this one is going to be the first one that you're actually going to be able to customize your character and play as you see fit 
in the Far Cry 5, you know, open world. So, also, the entire game can be played solo or in a two-player co-op mode. I kind of wish there was a way we could play it in more, you know, than, than two people. Um, you know, the past two games, Far Cry 3, there was a separate four-player co-op campaign. And then also in Far Cry 4, you could play side missions in the two-player co-op. So, this is actually being able to play through the entire game with two players so like i said i wish there was a way we could play it with four players that'd be really cool but uh, it should be interesting to see exactly how co-op works for the entire game being the fact that you can play it solo or you know with another person all the way through and then also one of the cool features returning like previous games far cry 5 will feature a map editor for players to create their own maps this that's pretty epic you know that's something really cool to the far cry series and this is going to be bringing it back in a whole new way and it will also have new features this time around but ubisoft really has not announced what these features are going to be so you know only time will tell to see exactly what all we can do with the map editor which should be it should be very interesting i know there's a lot of very talented people out there that do a lot of map editing and stuff for a lot of other games i would really like to see you know what people can do with the map editor in far cry 5 and see exactly what kind of things that uh, you guys can think up and then maybe we can also cover those new maps and stuff on the channel um, in a separate series or something down the road but you know overall i'm really really excited about this game um, it's going to be coming out late march it should be a lot of fun covering this game with all the different aspects of it and being the fact that it's set in the united states you know it's a little bit closer to home and with the whole doomsday cult and everything it kind of feels like this is something that you know very well could happen you know it's not something that's crazy far-fetched and, uh, you know, it's it's something that could definitely happen in today's society. But I just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys, let you know kind of the ins and outs of Far Cry 5, what it's all going to entail, because this is going to be a game that is going to be on the channel uh, quite a bit, especially in the upcoming weeks when we get new content, especially working up to the release of Far Cry 5, and then, you know, post-launch with the new DLCs and all that good stuff coming out after that. But that is pretty much all for the video, guys. I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to kind of give you guys the ins and outs of Far Cry 5. Um, but uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys found it helpful, you guys are super excited about Far Cry 5 coming out late March, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to stay up to date on all things Far Cry 5, Ghost Recon, Wildlands, and a few other games and stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys do not miss any of that content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.